What's going on, everybody? How's it going, fellas? How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on, fellas? What's going on? How we all feeling today? How we looking, man? How we looking? Let me see how this looks. Hold up. Let's see how this looks. Yes, sir. Make sure you guys hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Like, like comment, and subscribe. All right, it looks good. I like the way that it looks. We can put it down a little bit more, though. Put it down just a little bit. Sorry, man. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. Just give me a second. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. Yes, sir. What's up, fellas? Let me make that stop jiggling as much as possible. How we how we doing tonight, you guys? How we doing tonight, fellas? How we doing tonight? Uh, we got a simple poll for you guys. Uh, first of all, I want to shout out everybody, man. Uh, shout out everybody who showed up for for this this uh, the early stream. I wanted to surprise you guys with a two two show day. I told you guys every once in a while we do that, and and uh, we broke our one uh, our hour and a half um, views record. So I wanted to shout everybody out, man. We got over, I mean, it's like, it's almost 5,500 views now. And we only went an hour and a half. Uh, so another record broken for, for the for the channel. And I just want to, I just want to thank everybody, you guys. We're like 9 or 10 subscribers from, from 14,400. The watch time's insane. Uh, everything is going up and YouTube is noticing that. If we keep this up going all the way up until the NFL draft and you guys continue supporting the channel, hitting like, commenting, retweeting, doing all that crazy stuff, this channel is going to be, we, we have a real, ch we have a real possi possible chance. It's a possibility we could hit 20K before the season starts. As long as everybody continues to show up, show that support, continue to make that thumb, make that thumb go like this, baby. Thumbs up. Subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Uh, it's going to be fun, man. It, it's going to be fun. So I'm, I'm excited about everything coming up for the for the channel i'm excited about just everything in general um if we look good visually if we sound good uh, let me know in the chat below we're going to continue to let everybody kind of get their seats and take take their seat and kind of get in here um again uh the the, the poll we went we uh it's just something simple something to laugh at will the chiefs three pete right now we got 11 votes 100 percent saying no <laughs> so that's always fun let's say what's up to everybody before we kind of get going um AVO Titan Titans da uh, content daily over here. Yes, sir. You know what's up, man. Uh, Julian, what's up, TA? How you doing, Julian? Dylan Th uh, Therrington says, yo, how you doing, bro? Uh, Daniel Berry Sports highlights in the building. Hide in the building. Weston Warrior, what's up, bro? Hey, we're getting a lot of regulars. I love it, man. I appreciate you guys. Don't think I don't see you. Don't think I don't see you. He says, when is the flipping draft? I know, right? Hey, we're going to talk about it a little bit, y'all. We got a two-hour show tonight in the Blue Dungeon studio. I told you guys. I told you guys, let's have some fun tonight. Uh, Icy says, hi, Ishmael. I used to have a buddy, uh, uh, a buddy I grew up with named Ishmael. He was cool as hell. We called him Junior, though. I met, maybe, maybe his dad was, he, maybe he was a, yeah, maybe he was a, his dad was an Ishmael, too. I never thought of that growing up. That's hilarious. Uh, let's see, how we doing? How we doing? He says the draft is the 25th to the 27th. My birthday is the 23rd. So let's go, bro. Let's have some fun. Everybody in the building, how we sounding, how we feeling? Uh, you already know how we always start out our streams over here, you guys. I want everybody to put their comments now, right now, in caps, your team name. What team you rep in? Put it down below. We'll get to the player you want drafted soon. What's up, Titanus? How you doing, bro? Billy Scott in the building. Uh, Ariel Carter says, sup, TA. Are we big on alt because he's dang near seventh on his actual talent? Uh, because I rewatched his highlights and he's good, but I wasn't that hyped. Bro, he's got some insane abilities, bro. You're not born 6'9 in pads and a helmet damn near every single day that can move like that. You know what I mean? So I'm very excited uh, about the possibility of him joining us. But I'm also I'm also more more going towards the receiver. I want Marvin Harrison Jr. or Malik Neighbors. Um Almost to the point where I'd rather only have them or trade back. I'm I'm almost at that point. Alt is the only tackle that I'm would be okay with at seven. Um, but I'm very big on Latham. I'm very big on Latham. I'm just gonna I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm very big on where the fuck is my hold on you guys. My bad, fellas. My bad, my bad. This shit's crazy, bro. This shit's crazy. 
everybody's I know it's just like it, it, I had to like grab because it, it was like going crazy. Like I'm literally taking all that. That's crazy, bro. Like, ah, oh my god. Appreciate it. Oh shit, we are ten subscribers away from fourteen thousand four hundred. You guys, that's levels right there. That's levels right there. Let's continue with the comments real quick. I want to say what's up to everybody. Titanus, yeah, we, we are gonna get fourteen four. We'll get that. To, we'll get that tonight, man. And that, that's another. That's just special, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. We haven't even started our shorts yet. We haven't even broken down the videos and crit. They don't even know what the fuck is. <laughs> hey, hey. Everyone is always everyone who subscribes is subscribing for the Titan Anderson show. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate everybody. Wait until the season is actually going. When when we're going into hate weeks. When we're go oh my god, bro. Football's back, baby. Ah. Julian says, what's up, TA? I'm on a cruise right now on vacation. That's crazy, bro. You should take a picture near the water and tag Titan Anderson. Be like, yo, TA. You know what I'm saying? Tag me. Titan Anderson one on Twitter. Or X. Sorry. Sorry, Elon. Uh, let's see. Uh, SM Ducky says, the draft always takes forever. Uh, yeah, hey, it, it'll come faster than you think, bro. It'll come faster than you think. EC3 in the building. He says, Tennessee Titans. Titan South. What's up, TA? What's up, my fellow uh, Titans fans? It's good to see you, bro. Titan South in the building. Uh, we got a Western Warrior. He says Dookie. Eagles Dookie. <laughs> uh, gaming, it's good to see you again, bro. What's up? What's up? Uh, we got an Eagles fan, obviously. Titan Cell says, I want Joe Alt. We need to protect Levis, but Latham would be sick, too. Hey, Latham's big, bro. Latham is a big boy, man. That's a big guy. Uh, Jack says, what team am I rapping? I was born and raised as a Cleveland fan, but I can't support them with that human at quarterback. So, Buffalo. What the fuck am I... What am I reading? <laughs> so, you're you like Josh Allen. All right, that's all you had to say, bro. You didn't have to go all fucking Beetlejuice 2 on me and confuse the shit out of me. You feel me? <laughs> I'm, like, confused as shit, bro. What's up, LTH? Man, LTH, I'd love to have you on weekly, bro. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. Let's do that, bro. Let's get a... Uh, let, let's get our own little weekly uh, AFC South thing going for... Uh, for, for the people over here, we got. I, I know Jack's gonna be down one hundred percent for this year, so we just gotta get it. We gotta get a Jaguar. Uh, they're they're hard to find, man. Those fucking fans hiding trees. You can't find them, and and especially the ones that want to come on and talk weekly about their shitty ass team losing every week. It's gonna be hard to find a Jaguar fan to join us, but I'm sure I'm I'm confident we'll find one. Maybe XD Gamer's dad can join us. That'd be great. Atheo says Titans living in the Eagles' head rent free. They hating AJ became a dude. It's crazy. You guys, did you guys see the morning show? Oh my God, the amount of eagle crybabies, it's unbelievable. It's like, why are you guys over here mentioning? We don't give a shit. You act like we don't have receivers. <laughs> you act like we ain't fucking climbing Mount Everest all the way up going up the mountain. Like, what are we doing here? Like, the Titans are up and coming big time. Shit, we might be already at the top fighting and throwing people out of the rumble, baby. Like, this is crazy, and, and, the, and the Eagle fans want to come over. Ha, 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 you got fleeced. Ah, what the fuck are you talking about? You just got drop kicked out the ring, bro. You just got thrown out. You just got Uncle Phil, bro. Ah, <laughs> you just got Uncle Phil, bro. And if you know, you know. You guys shit the bed no diaper last season. The Eagles, man. Woo! Y'all, y'all were something last year, I'll tell you that much. But y'all are always here, always here, always running your mouth about A.J. Brown, like, as if we give a shit anymore. We love what we got going on. We cool with that. I know you guys are very unhappy. I'd be pissed off if I was you two, I'm not even gonna lie. Dylan says Malik Neighbors would be so fun. Yes, Malik Neighbors is, uh, you know, when I told my, when I had my son on uh, last night, me and my son, my two-year-old, I told him, who do you want? And I was gonna name the three, the three, uh, the three people that I wanted. I said, Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and right when I was getting ready to say Joe Alt or whatever the, the order was in, right when I said Malik Neighbors, he grabbed my fingers, and he was like, that's it. So Malik Neighbors is going to become a Tennessee Titan. My two-year-old has spoken it into existence. And actually, uh, pause for the cause. Dun, da, da, da. Come on, you guys. Look at that. You could, Come on. Look at that. Oh, my God. You could, Look at that. You can spell Jaguar suck ass in that. Look at that. Look how cold that is. You guys want to try it? Here we go. Shh. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah! Whoa! God 
damn, that's cold as fuck. Oh, uh, what's the opposite of burning your throat? <laughs> that's cold as hell, bro. Hell yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Titans fans, how we feeling tonight, you guys? Tennessee Titans fans, stand up. Let's go. God, I can't wait to get Malik Neighbors on this football team. Appreciate you, LTH. We having fun, bro. That's what matters most. We having fun, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, Weston says, it's storming where I live. That's crazy. Uh, Ian says, Mat March flew by. I imagine April will, too. It, it will. That's what I'm saying, bro. Everyone needs to buckle up, tighten up, and get ready. King Bomber always here saying Titan suck, TA sucks, this guy sucks, he sucks, but yet you're here every show. So just the fact that you are enjoying, you can say you don't like, I don't care, you are enjoying yourself here, and that's all that matters. You could hate me, as long as you're enjoying yourself and I'm bringing some type of joy to you in some way, some type of entertainment, I'm I'm winning. I'm winning. So I, I again, I could play the heel, I could be the baby face, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. We're going we're, we're gonna to speak the two-tone truth every day of the week. Every day of the week. What's up, Lucky? How you doing, bro? Uh, I got you, LTH. Appreciate you, bro. I'll I'll check it. Uh, I'll check it when I can after the the, the uh, <clears throat> I'll check it after the after the show. Yeah, the Eagles, man. Hoo hoo hoo. Uh, luck. Hey, football's coming close, you guys. Football is so close. Courtney Four A. What's up? What's up? Uh, luckily, he says football is set up. Get real. He, you really think football set up? Come on, bro. You need to cut it out. You need to cut it out. There ain't no way people are going to be throwing their bodies on like that just for a fix. That's ridiculous, bro. Now, I think there's I think there's favoritism for sure. I think there's favoritism for sure. But Buckeye says, Chiefs, man, who knows? Can't never doubt them. That's a fact, though. I'll give you that. I'll fucking give you that. As long as they got that fucking Mahone boy, they're good to go. Oh, man. Uh, Nixon says, where did you get your glasses? <coughs> I hope I'm not getting sick. Fuck. Uh, I got my eye visor from Oakley's. They're called Kato's. He said, don't ever disrespect my birds again. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. I, I, I love making it. Well, look, let, me, let, me, let me point something out to you. <clears throat> I never even talk about your birds unless you birdies come flapping along to the Titans page. That's the only time I talk about you guys. There's no reason to. You guys are NFC, but you, just you, you're, you Eagle fans, and, and you, you specifically, you're always here. I, is there anything Eagles in my title, in my back? Anything? No. I have nothing. No hashtag Eagle AJ, nothing. But you're here all the time, so are they. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're here. But do you get what I'm saying? Like, is this crazy, bro? Man, some of y'all lost, man. Some of you are on that Beetlejuice juice. You know what I'm saying? Some of you are on that Beetlejuice juice. It's crazy. Afio says, you know what I never do? I uh, Is go to other teams' daily shows. I got a team and a life. That's funny, bro. Shout out to all my Titans fans. How my Titans fans feeling today, baby? <laughs> How we feeling tonight, y'all? How we feeling tonight, Titans fans? Let's go. How we feeling tonight, Titans fans? How we looking? Do we sound good? Everything going good? Appreciate everybody for supporting, man. I really do appreciate you guys, man. Every single show we do, we just keep getting the more and more likes, more subscri subscribers and everything, bro. So shout out to everybody, man. Seriously. Shout out to everybody. We are, what, nine subscribers away from 14,400. So if you haven't hit subscribe yet... Make sure you do. Let's get that, man. Let's celebrate that tonight. Let's celebrate 14,400 subscribers. We're only nine away. Only nine away. Ah, I love it, baby. I love it. Let's get into the comment section. Get into the comment section real quick. He says, nah, you funny. You're wild, bro. EC3 says, tighten up. Looking forward to the new season. I'm, I'm excited, bro. I'm, ex I'm really excited to see what the Titans are going to do this season. Like, we've got every opportunity to take the next step. And 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 show everybody that we're ready to go. You know what I'm saying? We 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 could we could take that next step. We 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 got to show everybody what's going on. Let's let's show everybody we the best. Let's go out there and beat everybody. It's gonna be a good season for us, man. I just can't wait to see how how April plays out. I can't wait to see how the Tennessee Titans approach this season. Oh my God, I can't wait. 
Jay George, man, you're becoming a regular. You need to get a logo, man. All you regulars, man, should start getting your own logos. Whether it's a picture of yourself, your favorite team, I don't care what it is, but that blank, that blank thing showing up all the time is weird, bro. But uh, yeah, man, I appreciate the support. Hell yeah. He says Brown's record since 2000 is 136 and 250. Titans 196 and 191. Can somebody put the Titans record uh, since since we drafted Derrick Henry? Can somebody put that, please? I would I would greatly appreciate it. I would I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Michael M says, "What's up, y'all? Ready for the D Hop and Ridley show this year? <laughs> Who's ready for the D Hop and Ridley show this year? Hit li hit like and make sure you guys put yes or no in the comment section right now if you're ready for the Ridley show. And dude, check this out. Ridley coming over, we took Jacksonville's best weapon. Sneed coming over, arguably took their their best defensive player. I don't care what anyone says. We all know facts. Um, same thing with the Bengals." Chidobi Awuze is the number one corner in this league, bro. Guys, we are bringing over our ballers. God, it's going to be a good season. Woo! I'm getting goosebumps, man. I feel like the final boss. I feel like the final boss. I feel like I need to just start coming out here. You know what I'm saying? Some electricity coming behind me and shit. It's crazy. I love it, bro. King Bomber says, You remind me of my friend Sean. LOL. I miss him. He OD'd. We from Philly. He loved the Raiders for... I don't know why you remind me of him. Well, I, 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 like I said, man, we don't have to agree on anything. But, you know, it's, it sucks. I, I, yeah, that sucks, man. I mean, it sucks that that happened to your friend. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. And I don't have any issues with you. It's just you're, you're just a... Uh, I, I think deep down you like the channel. You just, for some reason, always want to come in here and troll. But, uh, yeah, eventually you, you'll, you'll, you'll turn positive. Just like a bunch of... The other guys who come in here and just see oh there's a guy with some cool ass glasses and blah 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 let's troll him like it's not like that bro it's not like that you'll get over it though you, you'll move past that stage i'm pretty sure you will hope so <laughs> oh shit what's up titan saucy how you doing big dog uh man julian says spears is going to be good this season hey are you guys excited to see ty j spears this year shakespeare the barber Giving people cuts on Sundays, Sunday nights, Sunday afternoon, Monday night, Thursday night, Mexico City, London. It doesn't fucking matter. He's going to cut you up and send you home packing. God damn, I can't wait to see Ty J running with number two, with the number two jersey. Woo! Come on, bro. What are we doing here? Ah, I can't wait. Tennessee Titans, baby. Come on, y'all. What are we doing here? Come on, man. Remember, Red Bull gives you ring wings, right? Well, Monster gives you blue claws. I will chop your wings down when you fly right by and just laugh at you. Chop you down like Shogun, baby. Yeah, buddy. I love it, man. I'm, I just love having fun, man. I love having fun talking Tennessee Titans football. Who do you guys want to draft? We haven't asked you guys yet. You can put your team's name if you'd like, but put your... Put the player you'd like to draft. Titans fans, you know we do this every single day. You know we do this every single stream. What player you want at seven? I'm I'm 100% Malik Neighbors. I just don't think Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be there. I just don't. Malik Neighbors, I think he will be. I really think he will be, fellas. Uh, what do we got, man? What do we got? What do we got? Appreciate you, TA is the best. That's funny. I, what, weren't you, you were, pay, yeah, yo, pain in the building. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That's funny, bro. That's funny. Appreciate that, uh, the support. Uh, Ariel Carter says, do y'all like, do y'all, uh, think Titans let Kyle Phillips be the punt returner again? What do you guys think about that? Would you want him to? I think, honestly, we got to wait until, let's, let's address that after the draft. Let's see who we have after the draft and see, is there anybody that kind of stands out that could be that punt returner guy? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, Michael M says, Cheeto, flaming hot extra Cheeto. <laughs> I can't wait to say that when he gets an interception, bro. Flaming hot extra Cheeto. <laughs> I can't wait, bro. He's going to lock everyone down on that side, man. Come on. What are we saying here? What's up, Stoner Titan? How you doing, big dog? He said, of course I like the channel. Well, at least I at least I could. All right, cool, bro. I got you. I'm uh, Western Warriors says, I'm, I'm so glad I subscribed to your channel, Titan. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, Davis Klein says, uh, Bro, whoa, come, calm down, calm down, Diddy. Titans are gonna be trash. Get out of here, bro. Who, don't, you quit with the trolling, bro. You quit with the trolling, bro. That name is out there, man. 
Stoner Titan says, still don't forget that Levis deep pass to Spears. He can be a deep threat too um, in the Miami game. Dude, Spears can do it all. So can Pollard. That's what's crazy about this offense. If 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 Chig, if Chig can catch this year better than last year, oh my God, woo wee! Because Josh Wiley ain't no scrub. I'm gonna put that out there. Josh Wiley ain't no damn scrub. Jr. says NFL wants the Chiefs to three peat so bad. I I mean, it seems like they're allowed to hold. It seems like they're allowed to get. I mean, all the, all the calls. So it's not like you're just beating the Chiefs. You got to beat. Seems like the refs is, at, at times as well. But but again, go do it. Go do it. Make it to where the refs can't fucking change everything. Just go and complete the passes. Catch the open balls. Don't fucking fumble. Do all the things you're supposed to do. Win the turnover battle and the officials will be negated. Do your job. Don't make personal mistakes. Don't, don't do self-inflicted wounds. How many different references do I need to throw at y'all? If you do that, you'll beat the Chiefs. the best way to do it you just can't beat yourself if you have more turnovers than the chiefs you're 99 of the time gonna lose you can't do that you have to be even with them in the turnovers or or have them suffer more and that gives you the best opportunity you have to understand they're going to get most of the calls especially in crunch time you have to understand that even when they're behind, it doesn't mean they're out because of the referee help. They, their receivers can run into you, fall down, and there's going to be pass interference. It happens all the time. The, what about the deep ball? Uh, the, the Chiefs go deep. He underthrows it on purpose. The receivers will stop running into the corner right when the, the corner is not looking back at the ball. Boom, automatic pass interference. You think we don't see that? All the people really watching football are seeing that. That's bullshit. But anyway, it, it is. It's gonna be hard to stop the Chiefs. It is. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and try to try to, you know, fake anything. I I, I think it's gonna be hard. They're definitely the favorites to three peat. You know what I'm saying? They, they they're the favorites to three peat. Um, I want to make sure that doesn't happen. The only person and and I mean y'all can hate me for this if you want. I don't care. Uh, the only person that I would root for the like for the Chiefs to win. Would be uh, if the if they were facing the Jags, the Texans, or the Colts, I'd I'd go for the Chiefs. Uh, but but obviously that would be an AFC situation, so it wouldn't be Super Bowl. But you get what I'm saying. In that situation, like if it was AFC Championship, one of them goes to the, the Super Bowl. I'm going for the Chiefs. I will never go for an AFC South team. I will never root for the enemy. I don't want to see them happy ever raising a Lombardi. Are you fucking kidding me? Done with that. The Tennessee Titans will be the next AFC South team to 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 win a Super Bowl. I've already I've already claimed that it's going to happen. So until until someone does that, prove me wrong. I love it, bro. I love it. The Blue Monster is always out, baby. I know Sneed is such such a beast, bro. Sneed is such a beast. Yeah, Blue Monster, check popcorn. I don't got no popcorn, but hopefully you guys do. <laughs> uh, Weston says, I want offensive line. <clears throat> Ooh, Stoner Titan says, I have Pollard be punt returner. I don't think so. I don't think he's he's as agile enough for that. Not that he can't. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Fuck that. I think that's bad. Um, he said, Messi or Ronaldo? Uh, Messi. Messi has a, a World Cup. Ronaldo doesn't. So that that's automatically easy. Easy for me. Easy. That's not even debatable. If you don't have a World Cup, you're not even in discussion. Let's get those likes up, you guys. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. Man, how we feeling tonight? This is crazy, you guys. I really appreciate everybody for showing that love, showing that support, man. Let's go. We're eight subscribers away from 14,400, you guys. That's crazy, bro. Let's go, man. That's, in, that's insane, man. That's insane. Uh, JR says, was just in Tennessee. The weather was great for hiking in the Smokies. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Check this out. Top tier. Thank you, buddy. He says, Titans were 72 and 59 since drafting Derrick Henry. Like, that's pretty insane, bro. That's pretty insane. And 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 when when Henry was the guy, we didn't lose much, bro. Appreciate you, Sledgehammer. Appreciate you. He says, glasses looking cool, my dude. I appreciate that. Bill's Mafia in the house. How you doing, big dog? What up, cool guy, Jay? 
Uh, 619 Shield says, you can't beat yourself and you must apply tremendous pressure to beat the Chiefs. That's a fact, bro. I'm with you. Uh, Mystery Kid says, Chiefs are goaded. I wonder how many years you like the Chiefs. That's insane. Appreciate you, Pain. What's up, Mayberry? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Bale? He said, what are the chances we get Justin Simmons? I don't know, bro. I, it would be nice, but... What's up, Big Worm? He said, let's go Giants. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said, he said, let's go Giants, bro. I'm done, man. That, is there is there a team more confused than the than the than the Giants? Like, can we can we be honest? Like, damn, what are they? What are the Giants gonna do with the quarterback, bro? That's crazy. What are the Giants gonna do with their quarterback situation? They've been like, they struggling, bro. They struggling. Yeah, he said, Chiefs gonna flop. Quit front. <laughs> Yeah, it's just funny with it when Giants fans pop up like that. They're crazy. Like, is it? Are they gonna use Danny DeVito? Are they gonna use uh, Danny Penny Dimes or Danny Penny on his dimes? Like, you know what I mean? Like, who? Who? <laughs> hey, hey, can we all be honest real quick? Can we? Like, let's just keep it a hundred. Was anybody? Was anybody really thinking that the Giants were really gonna give that deal to to, to Daniel Jones? Like, keep it a hundred. I was. I was blown away. I was shocked. Pause. I, I was sh literally, literally, I couldn't believe they paid that tomato can ass quarterback that much money when he's proved nothing. He's proved nothing. That's why I was like, that is, that's just insane, bro. It's crazy. Why would you pay him? And you got Danny DeVito as your backup and then y'all wanted Danny DeVito to be your quarterback? I'm done, bro. I'm done. 619 says, am I the only one who would prefer Fuaga over Alt? You know, some people are starting to really, really dig Fuaga and, and a few of the other guys. Like I said, Jason Latham is a beast, bro. I'm really feeling, like, uh, like I said, man, if, if those two receivers are gone, you might might just want to trade back. You know what I'm saying? Might want to just trade back. Uh, <laughs> J. George says, I keep thinking of when Daniel Jones tripped over his own feet. Bro, he took off. He was gone. And he, he fucking tripped over his own feet. I'm just like, bro, come on. You don't your your goofy, gumpy, six foot five ass couldn't even run in a straight line long enough for a hundred yards without falling over. Wow. Can you say gump alert? That's crazy, bro. But yeah, like was I need every, come on, be honest. was anybody out there really expecting them? Was any was anybody out there expecting? I don't even think the the Giants fans were expecting that shit to happen. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. Raymond says, "Hey, I brought my Bluetooth speaker to work today to listen to your earlier show. Tighten up, baby. Let's go, man. The draft hard to wait on, like Christmas. LOL. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for the support, bro. Hit that like button, everybody. Let's get those likes up to over fifty before we get out of here. We got a two hour show, you guys. So we're gonna be here for a long time." Let's, hey, let's also, like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, let's get that done. Let's hit 14,400 before, before we out of here. We only need seven more. We only need seven more, and we're at the next goal. That's crazy, bro. Shout out to everybody in the building. Oh, my God. Uh, 619 says, I agree with the trade bet. I, think, I just think we can get great value. And, 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 if, the, uh, and, and if, the, um, if the Vikings don't, haven't traded up yet, that's the perfect landing spot for us. That's the perfect landing spot for us. I, I think um, I think we would be able to really double up on draft picks right there for sure. Like, seriously. That'd be the perfect thing for us right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael M says, quit overthinking. It is, it, it's alt over every other O-line in the draft. People are trying to say alt sucks because they want him. Uh, yeah, I'm not, no, not going to go nowhere anywhere near saying he sucks. But I just think of, like I said, giving Will Levis that extra really go-to weapon. And if they're not there, I'm trading back. I I'm gonna keep. I'm just going to keep it 100. Uh, Ariel Carter has a great comment, you guys. He said, let's hope Chargers or Giants don't pick neighbors and he will be a Teutonian. Bro, that'd be... I'm telling you, bro. Think about that. You already, you already have DeAndre Hopkins. You got Calvin Ridley on the other side. You got Traylon Burks as a situational role player, you know, when need be. And then you can have Malik Neighbors being, and that, that's your three? That's your three? Can you imagine Calvin Ridley, D-Hop, and Malik Neighbors on the field at the same time? Like, dude, that's fucking nuts, bro. That's fucking nuts, bro. 
Oh, fuck, dude. This draft's gonna be great. I know everyone's excited for it. I don't blame y'all, bro. I don't blame you guys. J. George says, if they weren't planning on taking a tackle in the first, uh, don't you think the Titans would have added uh, one by now in free agency? I think I think everything's on the table. Like I said, what if we trade back? There's a lot of tackles. And we have arguably the best offensive line coach in the NFL. Arguably. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not like he... I think that we could still get value moving back. And I still feel like... I, uh, but again, I'm going to make this clear. I'm only moving back if Malik Neighbors and Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, are gone. And and if Joe Alt's there, I'm probably just going to take him. I probably won't even move back unless, unless like, you're just not 100% sold that he's going to be him. Him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, bro. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. What's up, Shrew Gold? Nice shades. Appreciate that. I love it, man. Uh, Julian says, imagine T.A. the head coach of the Titans. I wouldn't want to be head coach, man. Like, I, I want Brian Callen to be the head coach. I like what I do. I like I like being that guy who brings all the fans together for a place to talk Titans every single day. You know what I mean? I like that. Uh, maybe Miss Amy will bring me over as a uh, some type of, like, you know, new school type, you know, I don't know, some type of live streamer team thing. I don't know. Sign me up, Miss Amy. Me and my family will move out there tomorrow. I promise you. It's crazy. Neighbors, not neighbors. Isn't it N-A-B-E-R-S? That's how you spell neighbors' name, right? Isn't it N-A-B-E-R-S? Isn't that the correct name? I could be, or correct way. I could be wrong, but. Could be wrong, but. Uh, 619 says, I'm excited for our secondary. We just need to pick up a safety. Big Jeff gonna have a career year. Bro, Big Jeff Depoy? Hey, can we get a D Big Jeff Depoy? Defensive player of the year, 20 sacks. <laughs> Bang! Big Jeff, man. That, that's my wife's favorite player, bro. That's my wife's favorite player, man. Big Jeffrey Simmons. Goated. Goated, man. Hey, y'all see his truck? Did y'all see his truck last year, bro? Are you kidding me? Man. That shit is hot. That shit is hot. He said, uh, Whitney says, are you from Nashville? I'm not from Nashville. No, I'm, fr I'm from California. It's pronounced Shergold. What did I, sh what did I say? Shruger? Sher? Shergold. How did I get that wrong? That's crazy to me. I'm surprised I got that wrong. I don't know. There's a lot of comments, so I'm trying to get to as many as I can. You know, being interactive, being interactive is the, the most important part of my channel in my opinion uh, I, I i feel like there's a lot of people who go live and don't even talk to anybody and, and I, I feel like that's not right uh let's see uh tyrone smith negative ass tyrone negative nancy titans are mediocre folks jags are des D D dynasty dynasty bound oh sorry i forgot you're a jaguar fan <laughs> jesus christ somebody smack him in the back of his neck jesus it's all right, buddy. We, we accept you. You can still be here and look dumb. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, Whitney says, I miss Vrabel. I, I, you're going to like Brian Callahan really quickly. You're going to like, you, trust me. Goat says, my name is who you are. I appreciate that, man. I hope, I, I hope that's what you meant. Appreciate you, Raymond. What's good, everybody? Uh, squad says, Jeff says, if the offense can't score, I'm going to do it myself. Bro, Big Jeff is special, bro. He's just, he's him, bro. Charlotte says, go Chiefs. Are you kidding me? D1 Prod says, yo, Titan, love your vids. I appreciate that, man. Wait until you see uh, the improvements coming. <laughs> Wait until you see it. We just reapplied for the membership, so that's coming back soon. We just lost our, uh, hold on, you guys. All right, fellas. All right. Yeah, I fucking forgot to charge my uh, my sign, I guess. So my sign's dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what that's about. Um, but, yeah, we got a uh, no, no big deal. We still here. We still chilling. Let's have some fun. Look, we got the little blue light in the corner. You see that? That looks pretty wicked down there, huh? 
Yes, sir. Anyways, you guys, what's going on? Let's get back. Uh, who do you guys want to draft? Like I said, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Everybody's excited about the draft coming up. Everybody wants, um, everybody wants, you know, to see who we're going to get after, you know, it's been such a long wait. Once the Chiefs won again, it's just like, ah, uh, man, now what are, what are we going to do? What are we going to re, how are we going to rebuild? How are we going to fix this? What are we going to, like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, but I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what we do. I can't wait to see what the Tennessee Titans do. Do we trade back? Do we sit there? What if there's somebody that the Titans want, right? Th hear me out. What if there's somebody that the Titans want that none of us know? Nobody's expecting, bro. Think about that. Appreciate you guys, man. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy, bro. The Tennessee Titans draft. And it's like, what the fuck? That's crazy. So where'd you get your hat? Uh, I don't I don't remember, to be honest. One of those hat sites, I'm sure. Uh, Dylan says, uh, who do you want in the second round? If we get alt, I want worthy or leg it. If worthy's there, I'm thinking about it. If But because um, that speed, we can also use them for punt returner. Um... But one person that I do like, you guys, is, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Tyler Newbin. That's a safety that, man, you guys, he looks great. He, he should be there at 38, too. Tony Vaughn says, Bowers tackle in the second. Bowers would be crazy in our offense. He really would, y'all. That would be a pickup that would be like, wow. You just gave, like, like that would be crazy. Because it's like, then you're like, okay, yeah, Chig, you're, you're, you're just... I don't know. I don't know. Use you as a weapon or something because he's just so unreliable with his catching. But mm. crazy. D1 says Packers versus Titans. Who you got? I always got the Titans, bro. Every day of the week. What's up, MB? How you doing, bro? No, the Titans aren't trading up. I can promise you guys that. The Titans will not trade up. Julian says Legereus Sneed is going to be a huge upgrade. Bro, facts. Facts. Uh, AFL, 24 days until the draft. It's like a kid's Christmas count. Bro, I'm excited, bro. On draft day, dude, there's been nights where I barely slept. I've stayed up all night on, on draft nights before. Like, it's crazy. The Chris Johnson, that draft, I didn't go to sleep. I stayed up all night because I was just so, like, excited for the draft, bro. Like, y'all don't understand. I love this fucking football team. I love this fucking football team. Like, seriously, it's like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I want this team to win a Super Bowl so bad, man. I'll fucking, I don't know what I would do. Honestly, I don't know what I, I would go to the parade. I promise you that with my family, we would all go, but, but it would be like, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. I'm hoping it happens. I'm really hoping that it happens. I, I mean, I'm going to continue to support this team forever, bro. I love this team, but I mean, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. We've been close. We've been close. So, you know, it's not like we're the Jaguars and we never go anywhere. Don't even have an opportunity. So it's like, you know, it could be worse. Could be worse. What's up, Fanny? How you doing? Titans fan 92 says the Tennessee Titans with the seventh pick select Joe Alton, Notre Dame, LOL. Possibly. Could happen. Brandon and Drew says, I'm a Colts fan. Sorry. You can like who you like. It's cool. Uh, Boy says, what do you think happened to Derrick Henry? He got traded. That's exactly what happened to Derrick Henry. Uh, 619 says, what high school you go to? TA, shout out your school. I went to Lincoln. Um, what high school did I go to? I went to a few. <laughs> I went to a few high schools, man. I went to a few high schools. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, yeah, I went to a few high schools. I'm just going to say that. You want me to name one? Um, Kern Kearney High School. I'll, na I'll name drop one. I started there. <laughs> I started there. How about that? What do you think about the the Bengals? The Bengals are Bengals are a good team. I don't like them. Fuck them. JC Latham, I'm telling y'all, don't sleep on him, you guys. Julian says, are you gonna watch WrestleMania? T. I don't know, man. Maybe. Uh, D1 Prod says J Jair would lock up anyone on the Titans. Furl and McKinney would deck Pollard. Dude, this guy is crazy, bro. Are you kidding me? Kenneth Murray would fucking choke slam his ass. Are you serious? Jair, what the? Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Jeffrey Simmons? Jeffrey Simmons, come on, bro. What are we doing here? He says, I'm a Colts fan. Oh, God. Appreciate you, Fanny. I love it. 
uh, Obra says, where did you get the mic? Uh, I got it at the dollar store down the, down the street by, uh, by 7-Eleven. Yeah, they, they had a deal, buy one, get one half off. So I got another one. It's like $2.50. Or, no, they're $1.25 now. So, uh, yeah, you do the math. I don't fucking want to. Uh, Fanny's, okay, I, what do you say? I took Tennessee to win it all. Hey, there you go, good shit. He says, name all the Titans players you can. I, I, how about this? You send, you send $20 to my cash app right now, money sign Titan Anderson, and then I'll name, I'll name some. How about that? I'm not gonna name, name them for no fucking reason. That's crazy, bro. P appreciate it, Gruber. <laughs> uh y'all remember that? Hey, squad, shout out to <laughs> Squad goes Jair got cooked by rookie Traylon Burks. Y'all remember that? You remember this? Sit down, little boy. <laughs> hey, squad, shout out to squad, man. That guy's becoming a dope ass subscriber. Hey, I forgot about that, bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. My my subscribers got my back, man. Sometimes you know I, TA don't remember everything, bro. But but that, that's why we we a unit, bro. That's why we work together. We 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 do this shit together. We 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 come from Teutonia. We are Teutonians. We bleed two tone blue for a reason. Let's go, bro. That was dope, man. Kid, come on, bro. <laughs> he said, "Get off me, you tiny ass cornerback. You five foot four, tiny little man." <laughs> Johnny Menzel's little brother. What's going on here? I love it. Hey, we're four subscribers away from 14,400. Let's get that real quick and celebrate that. Come on, y'all. Hell yeah. He said Traylon was eating for real, took his manhood. Bro, he put him he put him in the couch position. Like, are you kidding me? He put him in the He put him in that couch position. Grandpa, get your ass up. <laughs> he said, get your ass up, grandpa. <laughs> hey, bro, shout out to you, bro. Squad, that's my guy though, man. That's my guy, though. Shout out to you. That was a good one, bro. That was perfect timing and everything. Holy shit. Oh, man. Salute. That's fucking funny, bro. Ah, man. Oh, man. Whew. That was good. Uh, Hyde says, we need that kind of Burks this year. Look at, the, look at the end of last year, though. He was hitting, bro. Burks at the end of last year was hitting strong. Fanny says you should buy a Texans jersey and light it on fire for a video. I, I don't I don't um I don't do that. I don't do that because because I don't I don't um I don't like the teams, but but I don't I don't believe in that. I don't know I don't I can't explain it. I just I don't I don't do that. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna step on a jersey, I'm not gonna do none of that crazy stuff. I, I don't I don't need to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know that's that's tough you know lighting a jersey on fire is rough to me like I don't know I just I don't know I don't think I could do that because I don't want to see my my team's jersey being burned by some some guy on there you know what I'm saying I just I just wouldn't want to see my my squad's jersey being burned you know what I mean so it's like but but I mean it, it happens people always do that shit every year bro and and it's crazy when it's your the own team doing it like how many times have we seen someone burning a Titans jersey or, 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 I mean, look at Skip Bayless. He throws away cowboy jerseys every fucking week. Like, you know what I mean? Every Sunday when they lose, he's... <clears throat> His old ass goes Beetlejuice and away and shit. It's like, what the fuck are we talking about here? Oh, my God. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, Raymond says, TA, don't you like the media all them players ran, brought in where Pro, Bowl, Pro Bowlers or All Pro, if they went elsewhere... But what? And but here it was a bad decision. Okay, I see what you're saying. Look, look. Um, it just seems like no matter what the Titans do, uh, when it comes to acquiring players, um, it's always looked at like we did something wrong. We overpaid, or um, I don't know. It's just like for first of all, overpaying is weird to me. Like, how how is it that we are overpaying when other people were offering? right around what we were offering some more so it's just strange when you think about shit like that it's like i don't get it bro i just don't get it man i really don't but um i think everything that rand's done 90 probably 90 percent of it has been amazing you know what i mean it's hard to do everything perfectly correct it, it just is it's a hard job 
I mean, Dillard sucks. He's a, he is, oh my God, man. Dillard is like car oil that's leaking out. It's fucking disgusting and nasty. And yeah, you just don't want it around. You know what I mean? But it's there. It's part of your, part of a car, you know, at time, you know, unless you, you know, taking care of your shit. But you get what I'm saying, bro. Like you can't get everything right, man. But what, what did Rand do? Look at everything he did do, bro. Look at last year's draft. That's fucking... That's insane. Ty J Spears in the third? This year he gets to show he's the best running back out of all of them. Bijan, you can sit back. And uh, Mr. Gibbs, you can back up too. Because Ty J Spears is going to show everybody he's the best running back from last year's draft. No debating that. I love it, man. Yeah, Traylon Burks, man. He's going to... He'll, he'll, they better hope that Traylon Burks ain't ready, bro. Yeah, he said bad juju, burning jersey. I just, I can't do that. I, I can't. Burning jersey, yes, yeah, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. Some, I mean, hell, somebody wants to do it, teach his own. It's not me. Appreciate you, squad. Uh, who's your man? It says tighten up and good night. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do we got, man? How we doing tonight, man? Are, are we all feeling pretty good? Appreciate everybody for being here, man. Appreciate everybody for being here. Oh my god, are we one subscriber away? Are we one subscriber away, you guys? Holy shit. Uh, what's up, Christian? How you doing, bro? Uh, Christian, another Christian. Lago says, TA, what's up, bro? Overpaid is part of the business. Titans just got what we need. Hey, man, preach it so I don't have to say it again. What's up, Adrian? How's it going, big dog? William Jones says, burning a jersey is so corny. Yeah, I just don't, I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with that, dude. I, I mean, like I said, people could do what they want, but... Let's go, bro! We did it, fellas! 14,400 subscribers. Can we get a spam of 14.4K and drop the party emojis? Let's go, bro! Come on, Teutonia! Teutonians, man! I appreciate you guys, man. Continue to subscribe and hit that like button, man. Let's go. Let's make it to where every live stream gets fuck 50 likes. Let's get over 100 every single show. If we're doing two-hour shows every night, man, come on, man. Let's show YouTube we ain't playing, man. 14,400, bro. That is awesome, bro. Seriously, man. I um, never take it for granted. Humbled. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all you guys so much. I really do, man. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy to think that I just opened my phone one time and just hit record while we drafted Derrick Henry. And now here I am with a full-on studio and this many subscribers. And um, it's crazy, bro. Like, I, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. Stephen Curry. Oh, that's the greatest name in sports. Titans suck. <laughs> Dolphins. All right. Greatest name in sports just got blocked by, blocked by Billy. Good job, Billy. I love it, bro. I love it, man. Holy shit, squad says, I mean, just imagine Levis with last year's team now with an improved O-line, an improved wide receiver core, and an improved backfield now that we aren't predictable, still love Henry, though. And you're forgetting coaching. Coaching's better. Everything, literally everything better is better. The chemistry, knowing that he's going to be the quarterback going into week one, like, psh, come on, bro. Everything is getting better. He says, whoa, that's a crazy name. I, you, you, you get Heidi B. Shield. Packers are better. Bring it. Bring it, you bring it, you Swiss cheese. Come on, bro. You bring your cheese and we'll bring our swords and let's go to war. Let's see who wins. Come on, bro. I appreciate everybody, man. I appreciate everybody for saying congrats. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yep. It's great. Awesome. Who's your man says, I'm a Colts fan, but each time I watch his live, it makes me more of a Titans fan. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm telling you, bro, it's only a matter of time before we convert all those weirdos. I'm not, and, 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 and again, when I mean weirdo, it's, it's more of like, I just feel bad that all you guys are, are, are brought up being Colts fans. It's more of a, I just feel bad for you type situation. You, you gotta come to, you gotta come to the blue side. You know what I mean? And, and trust me, your blue is not blue. That is not blue. <laughs> that blue does not fall under the category of blue. I promise you. Okay? So, you, you, you wanna come over, you wanna come over to the two-tone side. I promise you that much. I love it, man. Y'all are great. You guys are kicking ass tonight. I love it. 
<laughs> oh, man. I can't stand the Jaguars. Fucking hate them. Uh, Hoosier says, why do you hate the Jags more than... or? Oh, who do you hate more, the Jags or the Texans? Damn, my left ear just went like, like I can't hear shit. Fuck. Um, I hate the Jaguars the most, then the Colts, then the Texans, then uh, maybe the Ravens, uh, but not right now. Ravens took a step back because they got Derrick Henry, so they move up uh, off the hating list for right now. Uh, I got too much respect for my big, my big dude over there. Big dude, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, the Chiefs are the Chiefs are right outside there at number four. Oh, at number three, yeah. Wait, one, two, three. Number four. Sorry, I was still thinking about the Chief, uh, the Ravens for a second. So yeah, those are the yeah. Everybody in the AFC South is, you know, dog chocolate, and um, the the Chiefs right now are sitting right outside them just because they're not in our division. And and I, I really hope they don't three peaks. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit, bro. Tyrone says Levis is or Lawrence is so far ahead of Levis. Yeah, you've never watched football. Bring it, Swiss cheese. <laughs> oh man, I love it, man. We're all about having fun over here, you guys. You know that. We're all about having fun over here. Uh, Dante one hundred says I need your thoughts on Mason Rudolph signing. Well, he he's he can take a real strong helmet to the head. He can take a beating. <laughs> he's tough. He's tough. You know what I mean. Uh, so I'm I'm just glad that we got a we got an experienced backup quarterback. That that's all that's all that it is. Stoner Titan says, uh, "Ta, what if we draft Dallas Turner at seven? I really don't want to. If we trade back and he's there at eleven, like if we were to trade the Vikings for eleven and twenty three, I'd perfectly be okay with taking him at eleven. I'd be I'd be perfectly fine with that. We know that uh, Brian Callahan has made it clear that uh, Harold Landry is starting on the outside, and we need another guy to start opposite of him. Uh, Arden Key's not not being looked at as a starter." So we need another guy. So trading back, Dallas Turner, you can still get at 23. Uh, you can get uh, whatever left tackle is available. And then with your with your 38th pick, you can get whatever receiver is left up there. Uh, and you, you'd be perfectly fine. What do you guys think about everything that I just said? I think that's a great-ass option, something that you could do that makes perfect sense. Because if y'all don't know who the fuck Dallas Turner is, then y'all better go look at his highlights. That dude can play, bro. You're looking at Dallas Turner and Harold Landry. Harold Landry looked great on the outside at the end of last season. Like I'm telling you, bro, we can get it. We can get it going, man. We can get it going. Oh man, that's funny. I love it. I love it so much, man. He said, "What do you think of the uh, no nah, Belichick coaching college? I don't even. Who gives a shit?" <laughs> Six one nine says, "Colts, Jags, and Texans for me." Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. MB says, TA, I hate, the, I hate the Cowboys the most. My second favorite team each week is whoever's playing the Cowboys. LOL. That's funny. You know, there's a lot of people who literally only like to live for hating the Cowboys. It's crazy. It's like, who's your favorite team? I don't know, but I just hate the Cowboys. <laughs> it's like, damn, okay. Okay, bro. Shoot, calm down. Trollmaster says Raiders. Hey, man, we'll see what's up with them. Yeah, I know, man. It's crazy. Yeah, the Jaguars are terrible. AFO says last year we got Hopkins. This year Hopkins and Ridley. This this should be Burke's year if they do take a wide receiver early in the draft. I think uh, they lack confidence in him. That well, obviously, I mean, it, and it's not really the confidence. It's it's just he, his health. He can't stay healthy. Best ability is availability. He's never there. You know what I mean? It's crazy. <laughs> he says best Titan quarterback of all time, Steve McNair. It's not even debatable. It's that's crazy to even mention that squad, <laughs> my guy right there. I love it. Everybody hit that red button, man. Subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate all you guys for showing up, man. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. JS seventy five says, imagine we get Dallas Turner and that sweat guy from Texas in the first and second round. Defense is gonna be good, lethal. I don't think we're gonna do that though because we need to address the offense still. We still need to go at offense, so that's going to be something that we need to make sure we hit on as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. He says, what type of sunglasses? Man, I swear to God I answered that a hundred times. Is uh, They're Oakleys. Damn, that's good. Wow. Uh, Noah T says, hey, T.A., would you rather Chiefs three-peat or Henry win a ring? Henry. Henry win a ring, uh, knowing that 
Like, I don't care about the Ravens. Like, I don't, I don't ever want the Ravens to win. But knowing that they only won because Henry joined the team, it's a little bit like, it's a little bit like, come on, y'all can't talk shit because you couldn't do it without Derrick Henry. So it wouldn't bother me too much. Like, you know what I mean? Derrick Henry gets his ring. Ravens couldn't do it without him. It's kind of like, you know, I'm a Golden State fan. So it's kind of like Durant. You know what I'm saying? When he came to the Warriors and when he left, fuck you type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's funny, bro. It's all good. It's all good. I would definitely go for Derrick Henry. Go ahead, bro. Go get your ring. Fuck the Chiefs. Uh, Keaton says every Titans fan wants the Ravens to win now. You guys just have to understand what Derrick Henry has meant to this team. You guys have to literally understand what Derrick Henry has meant to this football team. Superhero, bro. Like, we, like you, you guys got to understand that. When I say that, I'm being serious. Superhero. Superstar. Changed everything for this franchise. Literally sold. He's the reason why we were half these young kids are even watching the game. He gave these, this younger generation that superhero to be excited for on Sundays. Everybody needs one, bro. You know, before that, there was Chris Johnson. You know what I mean? <sighs> Who's that superhero now? Ch chat section, light it up. Who's that superhero now for the Titans? If you don't like the Titans, still answer the question. Who's the Titans superhero now? I've mentioned before, I've mentioned before that I think Ty J Spears could be a superstar in the rough. When he gets the ball in his hands, all I see is superstar. All I see is somebody that's almost impossible to tackle, somebody that's explosive. Could be him. Could be Will Levis. Jeffrey Simmons. He basically is. What do you guys think? Jeffrey Simmons is like the Hulk and Juggernaut mixed together with Colossus. Like, <laughs> what are we talking about? Are we serious? Dude's, dude's a beast. But Willie Rocket, man, you know that attitude? That I mean, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. What do you guys think? Gaming says, I'm a Titans fan now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Who do you guys think a superstar uh, with Derrick Henry being gone is? Who's the next superstar? Atheo says, superstar equals... Uh, Will Levis. Noah says Levis. Ke Keaton says Pollard. That's interesting. EC3 says only time will tell, obviously. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Ariel Carter, Big Jeff. Maverick, Will Levis. Um, let's see. Tony Pollard. That's crazy. People. Uh, hey, man. We'll see. Uh, Goof Troop says, yes, Ty J agreed. Super pot superstar potential. I'm telling you, bro. Like, when I watch him play... I see it. I see he could be a superstar. Like, like I'm not talking about a, just a good player. I, <sighs> superstar. He catches the ball great. He's got the attitude. He, it's impossible to catch him in the open. Like, like maybe I don't know about. We don't know his top speed. We don't know yet. But we know the explosions there. We know that he's impossible to get down. He's hard to tackle too. He can, he's got a, he's got a legit stiff arm. The dude's legit, bro. He got a, exactly a hundred carries last year. Next year, he'll get more. Uh, Koopy says, y'all ain't got no superhero. LOL, y'all trash and paying some dumb contracts. And your name is Koopy. You know what I mean? You, you know what Koopy rhymes with? Poopy. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on, man, you fucking goof. Get out of here with that shit. Levis, Levis, Mayo Man, Levis. Gotta go with Stonehouse. Hey, Stonehouse getting some love. Holy hell, Stonehouse. Uh, Link says Levis still needs to prove uh, he definitely has potential to be a superstar quarterback. He makes too many bad decisions. He didn't have any weapons. Only D-hop last year. No, no blocking. You know what I mean? Now he's got everything's improved around him. Even the coaching. You're going to see a huge improvement. I promise you. He says, like y'all teams, you goof. You're, now you're just copying me, poopy. Koopy the poopy. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Jesus Christ. Some of you guys are so so unhappy. It's unbelievable. Hell yeah. Appreciate you guys. Keep hitting that subscribe button, you guys. Let's go. How we feeling tonight, y'all? How we feeling tonight, you guys? Oh, I love it, man. I love it. He says Titans and Bengals are my favorite. I can't wait to see who we draft, bro. 
Literally, I just can't wait to see who we draft. Who Who's it going to be? You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Tighten up. How are we all doing out there? Tighten up, fellas. Hell yeah. Uh, Gamey says, who do you think the Titans are going to pick for the draft? I, I, it just depends who's available and if we trade back or not. Nobody says, can you tell my friend Harold... Jesus Christ. Koopy is fucking done, bro. <laughs> Koopy! What a weird-ass name, bro. What is going on, man? He drives a mini Koopy! <laughs> you can't make that shit up, bro. Like, what are we doing here? Oh, man. Uh, JS75 says, I hope Joe Alt is on the board. If not, trade back. Interesting. Link says, it would be funny if Will Levis throws four or five touchdowns week one kickoff. I hope so, bro. I'll go crazy. Farmer says, Pittsburgh is going to take it this year. Sorry, guys. Oh, hey, man. We'll see what happens. You better hope Russell Wilson plays good. Baseball says, did you know Derrick Henry got treated to the Ravens? I want, How did he get treated, treated to the Re Ravens? What did he get treated for? I'm confused. I appreciate it, though. Um, Keaton says, I forgot what draft pick. Titans pick seventh. Titans pick seven. Farmer says Henry's best days are behind him. I guess we'll see, right? He's not on our team, so it's not really my. It's not really, you know, I don't really care to be, to be honest. It, it is what it is. He he's gone. It is what it is. On to the next. On to the next. A lot of Packer fans showing up here lately. A lot of Packer fans showing up here lately. What do you guys think about that? Is that normal? What is going on? That's crazy. No, Cat Nelson, he said he was treated. <laughs> he said he was treated. Like the Ravens treated him like to a dinner or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Farmer says they're going wide receiver at seven or that tight end I could see. Possibly Brock Bowers. How would you guys feel about Brock Bowers going to the Tennessee Titans? Write Bowers yes or Bowers no and put it in the comment section below. What's up, Void? How you doing, bro? <laughs> What's going on, fellas? How we doing? How we doing, you guys? <laughs> Everybody's having some fun, man. Oh, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. He says, Bowers at seven, no bigger needs. Appreciate you, Maverick. Uh, Noah says, Bowers, no. Ronald says, Bowers, yes. Squad says, Bowers, no. Seven is too early. JS75 says, no, not at seven. Maybe... Later than 7. Maybe trade back, get him at 11? What do you guys think? Uh, let's see. Billy says, on the rise to 100. Uh, Tariq says, 7, no, at 13 with a third pick, yes. Hyde says, I don't really want Bowers. Definitely not over other needs. Interesting. Interesting. Farmer says, I'm just saying, at 7, you need a game changer. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's why I'm so okay with trading back. If Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malik Neighbors is gone, just trade back, bro. I mean, I, I don't know if Alt's there. I mean, it's going to be hard to trade back, you know, because he, he'll be there. But it's difficult, bro. You know what I mean? It's crazy. What are we going to do? Xander says, I want the Packers to pick Kool-Aid, McKenzie Street. Hey, they, that could work. That could work. What's up, Jack? How you doing, bro? Uh, Keaton says, what position do you think the Titans need most help with? Uh, offensive line, for sure. Yeah, but I still feel like we need another weapon at receiver. Uh, he said, how do you be a mod? You just got to be a regular. Once the membership shows up, we're adding five more channel mods. Five more channel mods once the membership is approved. JS75 says, can Bowers block? If not, I don't want him. Yeah, he can. He can. He, he's good at everything. He's good at everything. Squad says, if we pass on alt at seven, the fan base will probably explode. Maybe. Maybe. I think maybe, but if we trade back and we got two first-round picks, I think that could be huge. Billy Ray says, I meant the Packers are on the rise, but Titans should be back or should trade back and get more O-linemen. I think it could be a possibility. We're going to have to wait and see. We got 40 likes right now, you guys. We got an hour to go. One more hour to go. Let's get those likes up, you guys. Come on. Subscribe for more. Whoa. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. 
Uh, Farmer says top four go quarterback probably, so the cream of the crop is just waiting. I mean, I guess we'll see, bro, right? You want, well, I'll bring it up. You want me to bring it? I'll bring up a mock draft for you guys. Uh, we can do some, some mock drafts for, real quick. Uh, mock draft simulator to kind of see what what's going on. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll do uh, the Tennessee Titans. Um, and uh, we'll do two rounds. Enter the draft room. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Let me start this. Okay, and I'll tell you how it goes. See, dude, I keep seeing Jordan, uh, Jaden Daniels going first, bro. So let me listen to what they said. They said J uh, Bears take Jaden Daniels, uh, Commanders take Caleb Williams, Packers take uh, JJ McCarthy. They say Arizona takes Malik Neighbors, Chargers take Marvin Harrison Jr. Giants take Drake May, and that leaves Titans at seven. Do they take Rome, Dallas Turner, Joe Alt, Brock Bowers, Teron Armstead? Uh, you could trade, obviously. They, they have the, the Cardinals right there. That's a terrible fucking trade. Is there another trade? Oh, there's more right here. Let's see if the uh, where the fuck are they at. Let's trade the Vikings, because this is a terrible fucking... This is fucking terrible. I feel like this is not good. All right, let's 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 trade. Let's trade. All right, we're going to trade real quick with the sorry ass Vikings. We're going to trade. He said that's a crazy mock draft. I know, right? So, let's see who picks since we traded. We traded the Vikings. So, Vikings trade up to their two first round picks for uh Quinion Mitchell, cornerback from Toledo. That shows you how stupid mock drafts are. Uh, Falcons take Latu, uh, Bears take Brian Thomas Jr., uh, Giants take Olu Fashionu uh, uh, at 10, and that, that's where I think he belongs, 10 and beyond. He's not a top, he's not in, and the Titans are sitting there at 11 now. We have 11 and 23. Rome is still there. Joe Alt is still there. Dallas Turner's there. Brock Bowers is there. Verse is still there. Fuwaga's still there. Latham is still there. What would you guys do at 11? Do you take Rome? Do you take Bauer? I don't like Rome at all. Turner's still there. Alt is still there at 11. Do you you have to take Alt? Like, come on, bro, right? Like, like all right, we're going to take Alt at 11, right? We're going to take Alt at 11. Let's see, what, let's see what's still available at 23. No, we ain't trading no more. Get the fuck out of here. We had five trade offers. What the fuck? Okay, so Teron Arnold went uh, to the Broncos. Rome went, uh, Aduns went to the uh, Raiders. Dallas Turner, uh, Saints. Uh, DeGene went to the sorry-ass Colts. Latham, Seahawks. Xavier Worthy went to the sorry-ass Kitty Cats. Uh, Tyler Guyton went to the... Uh, isn't that his name? Uh, went to the uh, the Bengals. They need a tackle anyway. Uh, Verse went to the Rams. Bowers falling to 20 to the fucking Steelers. And then Miami takes a blocker to, you know, Morgan to help block for sorry-ass Tua. And then uh, you got McConkley. Uh, going to uh, the, the Eagles. That's interesting. So the Titans are sitting there, you guys, at 23. Talise Fuaga is still there, fellas. Wow. Fuaga is still there. Let me show you all the uh, offensive tackle. Fuaga, uh, Fantano, Mims. No, you got to go. Fuaga's ranked 15th, and he's still there, bro. That's crazy. Like, is that even debatable? I mean, you can go to the receivers. There's still a bunch of receivers left, though. That's the thing. There's still uh, Adonai Mitchell, Keon Coleman, uh, Troy Franklin, Xavier Leggett. There's a lot of guys. Brendan Rice. There's a lot of guys that you still could get. And what do you guys think? That's crazy. I think Fuaga right here, bro. Yeah, I think I think Fuaga would be perfect right here. <laughs> yep, you get Fuaga right there. See, that's pretty dope though, right there. That's dope. It's crazy though how they always do that. It seems like every time I do a mock draft, y'all, it seems like something like that happens. Like Jaden Daniels always goes first. Like, how does that always happen, bro? Like Jay McCarthy, that like McCarthy went first there. That's crazy, right? 
Look at like like, and this is the last one we'll do. JJ McC uh, McCarthy went first to the Bears. Caleb Williams went to the Commanders. Drake May went to the Patriots. Marvin Harrison Jr. went to the Cardinals, and that's actually where I think he's gonna go. Roma Duns went to the fucking Chargers. Malik Neighbors to the Giants, and the Titans are sitting here. And again, there's uh, Jaden Daniels still there. And this is where, to be honest, th if if this is how the draft goes, and Jaden Daniels is still sitting there. This is where I think uh, uh, the the Vikings will trade us. The Vikings will trade us those two first round picks because Jaden Daniels is still there. Jaden Daniels is still there. You get what I'm saying? And 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 he, yeah. There's there's just no way. There's just no way. Make sure you guys hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. You guys, let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we're gonna restart this one. That's crazy. How about how about this? How about we select them all? How about we all do the first round picks? How about that? We'll, we'll all do the, the first two or whatever. Into the draft room. We'll do that. We'll get that going. Okay, we're going to start it right here. All right, for the first pick for the Chicago Bears, spam your guys' choice. Who do you want? Who do you guys want the Bears to choose? Spam your guys' picks. What's up, Jaden? Caleb? Spam the picks, you guys. We're going to get it, you guys. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Still got some time, fellas. Caleb, Caleb. What do you guys think? Who are the Bears going to take with the first? We're going to do the whole first round. No trades. Come on, y'all. Talk to me. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. Are we all good on Caleb Williams? Is Caleb Williams going to go first? Is, is it pretty much a given the Bears are going to go Caleb Williams? Do you think it's 100% for sure? Yeah, Michael Lim says Caleb Williams is a flop. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's go Caleb. Let's go Caleb because everyone knows it's gonna. That's who they're taking. All right, the Commanders are up next, you guys. Now this this could be anything. You know they're gonna go quarterback. Now do they go? Do they go Drake May, Jaden Daniels, JJ McCarthy? What what do they, what do they do here? What do they do here? Keaton says JJ should go first. Hey, man. Like I said, it's a majority vote, bro. What are you guys thinking? Daniels? What are you guys thinking? May? Okay, we got a little war out here for the commanders. Come on, let's see who you guys got. May? Is Daniels or May? You guys aren't, aren't on JJ? Y'all ain't on JJ for this guy? What are you guys thinking? Come on, you guys. Talk to me. We got Caleb Williams with the Bears, number one pick. Who's the commander's taking? We're doing this little mock draft for you guys. May, Daniels. What are you guys thinking? Is it going to be Daniels or Drake May? Because that's what it seems like you guys are going with. Is it Daniels or Drake May? It's pretty even right now. I'm going to keep it 100. A little too early for JJ. Daniels or May? Spam it, you guys. Let's go. Daniels or May? Okay, it looks like Daniels is winning. Looks like Daniels. Daniels. Okay, we're going to go Daniels. Daniels wins by a little bit. Uh, here we go with the uh, New England Patriots at number three, fellas. What do the Patriots do at number three? J.J. McCarthy or Drake May? J.J. McCarthy or Drake May for the Patriots? What are you guys thinking? By the way, let's go to the, the polls real quick. Um, we've got uh, 225 votes. Will the Chiefs 3 Pete? 31% say yes. 69% say no. Appreciate that. Okay, J.J. May, 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 May. Damn, people ain't fucking with JJ, huh? Okay, May it is. May wins by a landslide. Holy shit. All right, so now we're sitting there. We've had the first three picks completed, and we'll go over them. Caleb Williams to the Bears. Jaden Daniels to the Commanders. Drake May to the Patriots. What do we got next? The Cardinals are up next. What do the Cardinals do? Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Rome. What, what, uh, do they, what, are they, what are they doing here, you guys? What are they doing here? What do you guys think? You think they trade down? Marvin Harrison Jr. 
everybody's saying Marvin Harrison Jr. All right. And, and to be honest, that's what I think, too. Marvin Harrison Jr. to the Cardinals. Chargers are up at pick five, you guys. They need receiver help. They need receiver help. But then they've also been mentioned to Brock Bowers. What do you guys think? Malik Neighbors, Roma Duns, uh, Brock Bowers. I mean, maybe Joe Alt. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking for the Chargers? What do the Chargers do at pick five? Neighbors. I think so, too. I think if he's there, I, that, that's what scares me the most is that they take him there. All right, we're going to give them Malik Neighbors to the Chargers. Giants at pick six, you guys. What do the Giants do? Do the Giants sit with Danny DeVito and overpay Daniel Jones? Or do they take Roma Duns? Do they take J.J. McCarthy, Joe Alt, Brock Bowers? What do they do? What do the Giants do? Do they take Rome? A Duns? A Duns? All right, we're going to take Rome. Titans are up next at seven, fellas. Titans at seven. What are you thinking, you guys? This is a no trade out uh, mock draft right now. We got Dallas Turner still there. Uh, we don't care about JJ McCarthy. Joe Alt, Brock Bowers. What are you guys thinking? Olu's still there as well. Olu's still there as well. Again, a lot of people want are interested in him. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking for the Tennessee Titans? Alt. No brainer. All right, Joe Alt to the Tennessee Titans. What do y'all got for the Falcons? It says they need edge, cornerback, and quarterback. I mean, is it I mean, come on, bro. Is it is it Turner? Is it Dallas Turner to the Falcons? Is it going to be Dallas Turner to the Falcons? Like, come on, bro. That is crazy. Yeah. Dallas Turner to the Falcons, it is. Chicago picking at nine, fellas. What do they do? They need... A wide receiver. They need inside offensive line. They need a lot of tight end. They need a lot of things. What do they do? Do the Bears take Brock Bowers? Do they take Jared Verse? Olu is still there. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking for the Bears? Brian Thomas? Thomas Jr., what do you guys think about Tom? Yeah, Thomas Jr. still there too. 19, a little, a little early, but is early. You know what I'm saying? You, you may need him. Thomas Jr., Bowers, Bowers. Thomas Jr. or Bowers. 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 Okay, Bowers wins. All right, they're going to take Brock Bowers. Jets. Who do the Jets take at 10, fellas? Who do the sorry-ass Jets take at 10? <laughs> That's a crazy draft pick, right? Offensive tackle. They're going to take offensive tackle easily. So what what, what do we got? Olu Fashinu, right? Or uh, Fuaga? What do you think? For the Jets, fellas, what do you think? Olu or Fuaga? Olu, Olu, Olu. Olu Fash, Olu. Okay. Give Aaron Rodgers a little more protection. The Minnesota Vikings are up at 11. What do you guys think they do at 11, fellas? Says they need quarterback, defensive line, inside. Out. Oh my god! So, uh, do we just do we just pencil in JJ McCarthy? Do we just pencil in JJ McCarthy for the Vikings? JJ McCarthy is still there. We gotta pencil him in. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's just. I mean, come on, bro. We got to. We got to. It just. You know what I'm saying. Okay, what do we got? Broncos. They need a quarterback. They need edge. They need wide receiver. And don't be surprised if the Broncos try to trade up. I'm just saying. What do you think the Broncos try to do, y'all? What do the Broncos try to do, knowing they need a quarterback, edge, and wide receiver? Jared Verse. Jared Verse is there, fellas. Jared Verse is there. What are y'all thinking? I'm thinking Jared Verse. 
They need an edge. Jared Verse would be really good. Really good. All right, we're going to give him... Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, Broncos, edge rusher. They, I mean, you could go quarterback, but is it too early? This pick 12. You really want to take Bo Nix at 12? That's crazy. I'm getting pass rusher, bro. I'm getting Jared Verse. What do you guys think? Yeah, Verse. Okay, cool. Raiders are up next at 13. They need an offensive tackle, quarterback, and a running back at 13. What do we got? Well, they need an offensive tackle. We all know who's still there. You have, uh, where the fuck are they? Fuaga, JC Latham. They're both there. Mims, uh, Fatano, uh, Guyton. There's a lot of people still up there, fellas. What do you guys think? They need blocking. You guys think it's got to be Fuaga or Latham? Bo Nix is not being taken in the first round, bro. That's just not happening. Fuaga. Okay, we got the Saints next, and I'm picking this one. I don't care what anyone says. They need an offensive tackle, and I already told my little brother who's a Saints fan. I was like, you're getting J.C. Latham. I already told him, get the jersey ready. J.C. Latham's going to be a Saint. Dude's a fucking monster. He'll protect Derek Carr all day. Uh, the Colts. The Colts are up next, you guys. They need everything. They need jerseys, helmets. They need a new mascot. They need new ownership, new receivers, a new quarterback. They need a new place to sleep at night. They need. I mean, come on, bro. Let's keep it 100. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's, uh, they says they need a corner, a wide receiver, and a safety the most. There's two corners sitting there right now in Teron Arnold and Quinion Mitchell. Who do you think the Colts are going to take? Because it makes perfect sense. they got to get one of them. Or they could they could go and take Brian Thomas Jr. What do you guys think? And look at Billy Ray, Colts wide receiver. What do you guys think about that? Do they skip corner and add Brian Thomas Jr. to help out um, their running back hiding disguises quarterback? What are you guys thinking? Let me know, man. Let me know. The Colts are terrible. Trust me, I know. The Colts are on the toilet seat logo is on the clock. You have five minutes to take your shit and put in your pick. <laughs> uh, you guys want to give them Quinion or Tehran? You guys want to do that? Colts need a quarterback. They have two running backs, Taylor and Richardson. They're not going to take a quarterback, though, at 15, knowing they need a corner. I don't think they're going to. What are you guys thinking? Do they take a corner or they or do they go receiver with uh, Brian Thomas Jr.? What do you guys think, chat? What do the Colts do? Corner or Brian Thomas Jr. for the Colts? What do you guys think? Quinion. Quinion. All right, we'll go Quinion Mitchell. We'll give him them. Seahawks are next at pick 16. Fellas, they need offensive tackle inside. off. They need offensive line and tight end. Wow. Okay, uh, let's go uh, and look at some blockers for you guys. Troy F uh, Fatan Fatano or whatever is still there. Mims is still there. Guyton. Um, this is important, real important. So where the fuck is he? Oh, there. Wait, sorry. I, I didn't see that. Uh, Jackson's Powers Johnson is still there. He's pretty damn good. So he's somebody that they could go for. Or I, so it's either... JPJ or Troy Fatano? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What's up, Blood Samurai? Let me know, guys. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Fatano? All right. He, I mean, it's a solid pick right there. He'll be there. So we'll go with uh, Troy Fatino. All right. The Jacksonville Jungle Kitty Cats are up next, picking at number 17. Jacksonville Jungle Kitty Cats need everything. New ownership. They need a new uniform. They need a new cat to be represented because Jaguars being in Jacksonville makes no sense. Uh, but yeah, so it's at 17, they need everything. Let's see what we could do for them. They need a cornerback really bad. They need edge. They need offensive tackle. So it's going to be Terrian Arnold or Latu from uh, UCLA. What are you guys thinking? 
What should the sorry ass Jaguars do? Should we just give him Arnold for a coin? Yo, let's just give him whatever. Who cares, Jaguars? You're boring anyway. Bengals are up next. They need a tackle, a tight end, and a cornerback. What do we got, man? What do we got? What do we got? I tell you what, Nate Wiggins is there. Amarius Mims is there. Amarius Mims is a beast. You know what? I think Mims would be the best thing. Honestly. What do you guys think? Amarius Mims? What's up, Lane Brown? How you doing, buddy? You think Bengals go corner? They could. They lost. They lost. Uh, you want? You want to do that? You want to check out the corners because they really need blocking, bro. Uh, let's let's check out the corners. Nate Wiggins is still there. Cooper DeGene is still there. Kool Aid is still there, fellas. What are you guys thinking? Okay, so let's go Mims. Uh, let's go Mims or Wiggins for the for the for the Bengals. What are you guys thinking? Mims or Wiggins? Dude, the Bengals' offensive line speed up. And they need a corner. They do. I mean, losing Cheeto. Should we give him Nate Wiggins? Wiggins, Wiggins. Wiggins is doing well right now. So is Mims. All right, Wiggins, Wiggins. Okay. Bengals go Wiggins. All right, Rams are up next at 19. Fellas, what do the Rams do at 19? The Rams need defensive linemen, corner, and quarterback. Latu is still there, you guys. Damn, Byron Murphy is still there. Dude, that's the perfect pickup right there. Is Byron Murphy, is there anybody better to, to, to try to plug in there after losing your best player arguably ever? Byron Murphy makes like the most sense, right, for the Rams? Byron Murphy, he's sitting there still at 17. You're, it's pick 19. Yeah, we got to go Byron Murphy, bro. Rams take Byron Murphy. A-plus pick. Pittsburgh sitting there at 20. What the hell do the, they need? Offensive tackle, wide receiver, and defensive line. You know what? Why don't we give Brian Thomas Jr. to the Steelers? Why not? Why not? Why not give the Steelers a weapon? What do you guys think? We could give them um, Mims if we want to. Should we give a uh, little... Should we give little uh, Russell Wilson a little bit extra blocking? What are you guys thinking? Thomas Jr. or Mims? What are you guys thinking? Brian is Thomas Jr., right? Give him an extra throw, someone to throw to? What are you guys thinking? I, I think it makes perfect sense. Give Russell Wilson another guy to throw to. 50-50 ball guy can come down with it. Can, you know what I'm saying? You can have him and Pickett. Like Pickens, that's crazy, bro. And everyone, um, Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Brian Thomas Jr. for the Steelers. Dolphins are up next at pick 21. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, man. We're going to finish out this draft. Let's get it. Appreciate everybody for, for subscribing, bro. Hell yeah. Make sure you guys all subscribe. Hit that like. Let's go. So Miami's up there. They need an offensive tackle. I'm just going to pick Mims for them. Like, Oh, they need ins. Ooh. Should we give them Powers Johnson for Miami? Should we give Miami Powers Johnson? What are you guys thinking? They need an inside. They need an inside offensive lineman. You know what I mean, Jack? They do, but they need they need offensive line way more, way more. Brewer sucks, bro. Powers Johnson. All right, let's go Powers Johnson. A minus pick on that. Philly's picking at 22. What do the Eagles do? Eagles falling apart at the end of the year. They need corner edge and inside offensive line. Bro, Latu's sitting there for at 16, bro, or, or the 16th ranked guy. What do you guys think? Do they just take Latu for the Eagles and, and call it a day? Does Latu take, go to the Eagles? Uh, we're going to just do the first round. Uh, Gaming said the Sneed trade was great for us. The season is going to be crazy. I know, bro. 
You said top center. Let's go look. Let's go see if it's worthy. The fuck is it? What do we got? Yeah, that's being weird, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of different guys that they could get, bro. What are you guys thinking? I mean, corner and edge are like the two top ones, so we'll just give them one of those. Let's just give them Latu. Give Latu. All right, you got the Vikings picking at 23. They need defensive line and in, uh, and inside offensive line. Um, you know, there's there's somebody sitting there right now, you guys. Uh, uh, Jerzon Newton, defensive lineman. Uh, that could be a really good pick. Yes, yeah, Need's going to speak tomorrow. I'm excited about that. All right, we're just going to... Oh, shit. Yeah, there you got that. All right, we're going to give him uh, Newton. We'll give him Newton. Dallas at 24, bro. Dallas needs an offensive tackle and a wide receiver. Wow. Well, Adonai Mitchell, Xavier Worthy, they're both still there, you guys. Should we give Should we give Cowboys a, a Texas receiver to throw to? Who do, who, who do we give the Cowboys, Adonai Mitchell or Xavier Worthy? What are you guys thinking? He said running back, LOL. <laughs> Adonai Mitchell or Xavier Worthy, you guys. What do you think they do? What do you think they do? I feel like they'd take Mitchell. What do you guys think? Hey, Adonai? Not like it. Mitchell, Mitchell. Okay, we'll give them Mitchell. All right, Green Bay's at 25. Green Bay needs a corner and... Oh, man, they, that's perfect right there. Cooper DeGene, perfect. Or Kool-Aid. Cooper DeGene or Kool-Aid for the Packers, y'all. What do y'all think? That's crazy. That's so crazy, bro. Let's give him Cooper. Tampa Bay, they need an edge and an inside... Oh, that's good right there. Demarius John... Ooh. Graham Barton would be perfect for the Bucks. I think the Bucks need edge and inside offensive line. It's either D D Dimeon Robinson or Graham Barton from Duke. Um, yeah. Let's give them Robinson. They need a pass rusher. Car Damn, the Cardinals are up again, bro. Them and their two fucking picks. They need a defensive lineman and an inside... Oh... Um, I think Graham Barton at this point you gotta give him something you gotta give him some inside help Buffalo's at 28 y'all Buffalo needs a receiver Buffalo needs a receiver you guys Xavier Worthy is still there Keon Coleman, Lad McConkley, Troy Franklin, Xavier Lay, all these guys are still there. They need a defensive lineman as well, but none of them are ranked really that high. Uh, edges, 33 is the highest. So do they? Do you think they take a risk at Xavier Worthy for Josh Allen? What do you guys think? The fastest player ever with a guy you could throw far? Should we do that? All right, let's give let's give them Worthy. Detroit's at 29. Detroit needs a corner and an edge. Kool-Aid is sitting there, bro. You got to give him Kool-Aid. You got to give him Kool-Aid. He's just sitting there. Baltimore's at 30. Offensive tackle, we're going Mims. He's just sitting there. You got you A-plus pick. San Francisco's at 31. They need offensive tackle. They need just blocking. So Tyler Guyton fits perfectly. Or Jordan Morgan. What do you guys think? Just give him Tyler Guyton. He's highly rated. And then the last pick goes to the Chiefs. And the Chiefs need a wide receiver. So we're going to give them either Keon Coleman or Lad McConkey to finish it out. What do you guys think, you guys? Lad McConkey or Keon Coleman for the Chiefs to finish out this draft? 
What do you guys think? Key on wins. Boom. Perfect. All right, y'all. Cool. Sounds good to me. I appreciate that, man. That was fun. We got Caleb Williams to the Bears. Jaden Daniels uh, to the Commanders. Drake May to the Patriots. Marvin Harrison Jr. to the uh, to the Cardinals. Malik Neighbors to the Chargers. Roma Duns to the Giants. Joe Alt to the Titans. Dallas Turner to the Falcons. Brock Bowers to the uh, to the Bears. Olu Fashionu to the Jets. JJ McCarthy to the Vikings. Uh, Verse to the uh, to the Broncos. Fuaga to the Raiders. Latham to the Saints. Mitchell to the Colts. Fa uh, Fatanu to the uh, blah 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 to the Seahawks. Uh, Arnold to the Jaguars. Wiggins to the Bengals. Murphy to the Rams. And that, that honestly seems like it'd be a great pick for them. Mur uh, Thomas Jr. to the Steelers. Powers Johnson to the to the Tuna Fish. Latu to the Eagles. Newton to the Vikings. Mitchell to the uh, to the Cowboys. DeJean to the Packers. Robinson to the Bucks. Barton to the Car uh, Cardinals. Worthy to the Bills. McKinstry to the Lions. Mims to the Ravens, Guyton to the San Francisco 49ers, and Coleman to the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Wow. Let's go, you guys. Wow, that was crazy, bro. That was crazy. How we doing in the chat? Y'all hit that like button. Let's go. That's crazy. Good stuff, you guys. Good stuff. That was fun, man. It's crazy to see what could possibly happen, you know what I mean? It's crazy, man. It's so crazy. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. Like, cause anything can happen. Anything could happen. We don't know, bro. We we just don't know. And again, trades. There's always trades, right? There's see. There's always. It just seems like something's gonna happen that's gonna shock and change everything up. You know what I mean? Something's gonna happen. Uh, let's get a subscribe train going on, you guys. Everybody, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Come on, baby. Tighten up. I'm gonna spill in that shit. Oh man. Uh, 619 says, I just found the like button. Yeah, it's up here, y'all. It's up here. Hit those three dots up here. Everybody hit like and subscribe, you guys. Uh, Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn says, TA, who you got winning each division? I, we'll, we'll do a live stream on that after the draft. Uh, he says we was at 61 likes. <laughs> Hit that like button, fellas. Get those likes up. Let's go. Let's go. Jay George says, squad, why would the Vikings get another pick in the first? They're moving up to Giants, I hope. Dude, I just hope that somebody trades up and it messes up the, uh, the rotation up front to the fact that, to the point to where we can get Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr. I really hope so, bro. I'll go crazy, man. <laughs> squad says, TA, get ready to have lots of victory wings this year. Bro, last year was rough, man. So many times we didn't get no victory wings, bro. So it was like, it's crazy. It's like, what is going on? What is going on, bro? Appreciate all the new subscribers, man. You guys keep hitting that button. We are closing in on 14,500 subscribers, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, it would be nice, bro. The victory wings is always the best thing ever. Uh, Coco says, are you a Tony Pollard fan? I am now. He's on the Titans, right? I'm very excited about what he's going to bring to the team. I really am. I think he's going to bring a lot. He's going to help us so much, you guys. He really is. Um, it's always good to have more than one running back, uh, especially when you can use him in a way to where it's like you have not just a backup running back, but another weapon on your team that you're using sometimes at the same time. So I, I, I'm really excited. Dylan says, you like Boba T? Fuck no. That tapioca bullshit? Hell no. Nope. Fuck that. Hell no. Oh, man. I think I'm getting sick. I'm going to be honest. I can feel it in my throat. And I don't, I don't like that. I'm kind of upset about it. Keep it 100. <laughs> Will the Chiefs 3 peep? Will the Chiefs three-peat was, um, was what was asked, you know, in the poll. 300 votes, 33% yes, 67% no. Let's hope that they don't, fellas. Let's hope that they don't. We do not want the Chiefs three-peating. That is exactly what the Tennessee Titans do not want to happen. I appreciate all the subscribers, man. We just got a bunch that dropped right now. Keep hitting that subscribe button, you guys. 
14,500 is closing in so fast. And when we hit 15,000, whoa, man, that's going to that's going to that's going to feel different. That's going to feel different. I'm going to keep it 100. That that's going to feel different. Uh Jay George says I'm going to be mad if we don't get alt if he's there. I I know these wide receivers are good, but damn, give wideouts enough time with good blocking and even Josh Reynolds gets open. Yeah, but we need we need receivers that that are special to the point where like you they can score from anywhere and Reynolds can't do that. We know that. We need guys who can make guys miss and take it 80 yards. We need guys who can go on go routes and take it 80 yards. We need guys that can score from anywhere. You know what I mean? That's what we truly do need to get done. Appreciate everybody for subscribing, man. Everybody having a good time. Everybody having a good time tonight. How we doing, fellas? How we doing in the chat? How we doing in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> he says, watch Taj Washington highlights. I got you, bro. Dylan says, but also our receiver class is so, so deep. Is it? Or is it just full of... Or is it deep deep on fast receivers? You get what I'm saying? How many of those receivers are really good or just really fast? I don't know. I don't know. Damn, you hear my back? Crazy, bro. I really hope that the Tennessee Titans do what they need to do to improve. Um, you know, we've already seen we've already seen so much. Like you look at this team now, it's crazy. Like um, I had the, the 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 thing up that was pretty cool. Let me let me show you guys. It's pretty cool. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. It's, uh, like, right here, it says, um, everything that we've done, like, you know, naming Bill Callahan, offensive coach, offensive line coach, you know, Nick Holtz, offensive coordinator, Jernard Wilson, Nick Holtz, uh, Jesse Mitchell, just all the, all the things that we've done, you know, even behind the scenes, bro, it's just, I don't think people realize what we've done. Like, literally, I don't think they realize what we've done. The Tennessee Titans have already, like, we're, we're, we're ready to go. We're, we're ready to compete. We're ready to win football games. And I, I, I'd hate to play us week one. I'm just, I'm, gonna, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I would hate to play the Titans week one because nobody knows what they're going to get. Nobody knows who they're playing. <laughs> nobody has any idea what they're getting themselves into. That's what I love about all this. That's what I love about all of this. Titans. If we have a good draft, we're going to be good to go. We're going to be good to go because this offseason we've dominated. I don't care what anybody, what grade we're getting. That's stupid. Everybody knows for a fucking fact. Everybody knows for a fucking fact how good this team is and how good this team can be. Like, come on, bro. This is crazy. Cassidy says, Tennessee hasn't done anything. The Colts did better. Colts haven't done damn things since Luck left. Ever since Luck left, you ran out of luck. Your team has been trash. It's a fact. Rocky says Chiefs are better. Yep, for right now. Uh, Coco says, is Dallas a contender? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. They should be good, though. Again, they should have another good team for sure. There's no reason they shouldn't. We got 20 more minutes remaining, fellas. 20 more minutes. Damn, this is crazy. It's been a crazy-ass show, fellas, literally. All the new subscribers, uh, make sure you get get those likes up, you guys. I don't know what happened to the likes. They, like, fell away or something. <laughs> but hit that subscribe button, you guys. We're trying to get 14,500 as fast as possible. I would love to have you guys continuing to join us for all of these live streams, you guys. I really would appreciate that. Uh, again, man, continue to show that support, show out, and um, we're going to continue to grow, man. This channel is booming, bro. Riley says three P could you could you could uh, right now it's uh, you know it's 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 um, it's gonna be hard to take you guys out it's gonna be hard but um, you know we got to get it done everybody's got to take somebody's got to take you out you can't three P you cannot three P Allison says you like the Miami Dolphins I just I, I like the Tennessee Titans that's that's who I like you know what I'm saying that's who I like, I like the Tennessee Titans that's my team. I don't care about anybody else's teams. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm I'm just being honest. I don't I don't care about anyone else's teams. Who cares? Uh Greg says uh you when they find the rot rotting dog with peanut butter all dude, what the fuck, dude? You are strange, bro. Dylan says, bro, I'm so pumped Rogers is uh rot Roger is a lot. What? 
Oh, is the slot Cheeto and Snead outside or out wide? It's going to be good, bro. Those corners, those corners, uh, you know, Cheeto on the outside, you know, um, Snead is going to be so fun to watch. Just seeing these corners who aren't scared to play, you know, man. We've had corners that play. Look, look at Christian Fulton. He plays 35 yards off. Like, what the fuck are you guarding? Like, literally, what are you guarding? It's crazy. Doesn't make any sense. Damn, bro. I'm like all over the place. I got to open this up a little bit. Riley said, yo, y'all took Sneed. <laughs> oh, man. Squad says, TA, if Titans make Super Bowl, you selling your tick your house for... Nah, bro. I'm going to live stream it, though. I'll live stream it, but different. I'll set up the whole fucking place and set the camera back wide so you can just see everybody partying and shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stream the whole game. You kidding me? Jerron, what's up, bro? How you doing? Allison said, who's your favorite player? I'm not sure. Gabe says, stop yapping and look at the chat. Hey, Gabe, guess what? Guess what, Gabe? Shut your mouth. Nobody cares about what you're saying. Crazy, bro. It's crazy. Some of these people, I swear to God. All right, buddy. We gave you a chance. You don't listen. Some of y'all, man. Some of y'all act 12, I swear to God. Some of you probably are, which is crazy. No fly zone out here in Nashville. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love it, man. I can't wait to see the, the Titans destroy the Chargers in L.A. this year. I can't wait to, sh I can't wait to show up and, and really enjoy it, man. It's going to be a fun, fun season. It's going to be a fun season. We got 15 minutes to go, bro. We got 15 minutes to go. How we all feeling tonight, you guys? I want to thank everybody uh what a day you know what i mean we did an hour and a half show earlier that was unbelievable over five thousand three hundred views and then right now who knows how many this has but i mean it's been a solid ass show again and you guys continue to show up subscribe and and and, and we just continue to have a good time over here and that's what it's about that's exactly what this is about having a good time talking nfl football i can't wait bro it's gonna be good it's gonna be good 5k a seat it's way more than that now cassidy says the only thing big in tennessee is the traffic in nashville go colts then you've never been to california huh you've never been anywhere you're just hiding in in, in indiana or indianapolis wherever the fuck that is you're just hiding over there with the horses cleaning up their little shit shoes <laughs> and putting them on your helmet oh my god going to Going to war on the football field with them Walmart-ass uniforms on fucking aisle four. Ridiculous. Looking like you're out there in sleepover pajamas. This is crazy. I appreciate you, everybody in the building, man. Dylan says, bro, the streams are so lit. I can't wait till we start beating on the team. Bro, it's gonna... <laughs> we getting there, bro. We getting there. Joshua says, I'm a Panthers fan. That's crazy, bro. I feel bad for you. Literally, man. Literally, I feel bad for you. You you guys might be the you guys might be the worst team in football right now. Like literally, you might be the worst team in football. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm just gonna keep it a hundred. Y'all might be the worst team in football. <laughs> oh damn, bro. Are we serious? Fourteen thousand four hundred. We did it, fellas. Hell yeah, we did it. We hit today's goal and more than that. So I want to thank everybody again for subscribing, everybody for showing that support to the channel, man. We've been killing it lately, bro. We've been killing it lately. It's been really great. We got a lot of new fun stuff getting ready to come out and come up, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Lateral Crew says Patriots are probably going to be worse than the Panthers, but that isn't a flex for the Panthers. I guess we'll see, right? Uh, Titan, I'm going to dream tonight about the Packers win versus the Titans and win, and win Roman they year. And what the hell is he talking about? Hey, man, get your sleep, bro. Too many shots of tequila for you, my guy. Too many shots of tequila for you, my guy. You need to you need to learn how to pace yourself. Be careful when you walk outside. The cold air is going to hit you and you're going to fall on your ass. Make sure you call an Uber. Make sure you call an Uber or whatever the fuck needs to pick you up. Or go sleep in the trash around the back. <laughs> what up, Luke? How you doing, bro? I love it, man. Jerron says, I think uh, we're going to go 5-1 and one in the division. Look at the receivers. We got to go against Need Finnegal. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, this team's gonna be crazy, bro. This team's gonna this team's gonna cause some problems. This team's gonna cause some problems. Yes, sir. Let's get that final like. There we go. Yes, sir. Get those likes up, you guys. Everybody hit that like. Everybody subscribe. Everybody continue to comment. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the show, bro. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the show, man. Seriously, it's been it's been great. It's been a great time to be a Titans fan. You know, everybody thought the Titans were just gonna, you know, give up. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Titans are done. Blah, blah, blah. Nah. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. Oh, man. Luke says, I'm doing good. My Cubbies won, and the Joey Logano actually had a good finish yesterday. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm just I I'm ready for the I'm just ready for the draft, bro. I'm ready I'm ready for these days to hurry up and run by and I'm ready to see who we're going to add to the football team. I'm so excited to find out who we're going to add to the football team, bro. Um we don't even know. We we don't know if we're going to trade back, trade uh, definitely not trade up, but it's crazy. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. We have less than 10 minutes left, you guys. Less than 10 minutes. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that bell for notification alerts so you know when we are live. Oh, man. Jerron says, we finna be in every game, TA. Don't worry, brother. I hope so, man. I just want us to be... I want us to be a good football team. I want to be able to... You know what I'm saying? I want us to be a consistent playoff team. That's what I really want. I really want that to happen. Coco says, who's your second favorite NFL team? Don't have one. I just like the Titans. That's it. Volt says, Derrick Henry was a big loss for y'all. I guess we'll see, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we're better. Luke says, bro, my Bears are going to take Caleb Williams, and I'm pissed. Why? Why? Do, why? Who do you want? Is it, why don't you want Caleb Williams? <laughs> That's funny, man. There's a lot of Bears fans who are starting to say that shit. They're like, oh, he has pink nails. Oh, he cries like a bitch. <laughs> oh, mommy, I lost. Help me. I keep losing. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Oh, shit. God damn, man. What a fucking time to be alive. Ah, oh, that's delicious. Ah, oh, that's delicious. I appreciate everybody for being here, man. I really do. It's been crazy. It's just been crazy. He said, go Ravens. What the fuck? Lateral Crew says, Tennessee has gained three times what they lost this offseason. Facts. Facts. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, guys. Well, you guys, we're going to cut it off here, you guys. We're going to cut it off here. Get your final comments in. Final comments in now. Like, comment, subscribe, bell on for notification alerts. If you enjoyed your time, we have Cash App, Money Sign, Titan, Anderson. Send a message, and we will make sure we read it off live next time we're live. Oh, man. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I'll tell you what, my throat is feeling funky. <laughs> yeah, you guys are awesome, man. Seriously. Appreciate you guys more than you know. What's up? What's up, Calvin? How you doing, bro? Yes, sir. <laughs> you guys know what's up, man. I appreciate you guys, man. All the support is crazy. All the support is crazy, man. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, man. Subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate you guys, man. And shout out to everybody. 14,400 and closing in on 14,500. I appreciate that so much. Everybody, remember, you guys, my name is Titan Anderson. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I love you guys, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow.